cultivate this relationship so that it's meaningful me, meaningful for me moving forward with God. Okay. Yes, you guys, and you reminded me um, to ask too, are there any book recommendations that you guys have for people? Um, it can be related to self-regulation, can be related to um, trusting God or really anything that you guys feel like might be helpful. Well, you even invited by Lisa Turkhurst, is that right? She yeah. has another book called um, It's Not Supposed to Be This Way or something like that. I think I would probably recommend that one for this time because I think that would probably resonate with a lot of people. I just saw that that made like the top 10 list from like the New York Times for um, oh, going wow. through this. So I was like, that's awesome. But, yeah. I would also probably recommend um, Anatomy of the Soul by Dr. Kurt Thompson. Um, he's a psychiatrist out of Virginia, and he actually parallels some spiritual disciplines and practices with um, interpersonal neurobiology. So if you're kind of interested in the brain and how it works and how it processes, um, he kind of pulls some things from that and parallels them to spiritual disciplines. So definitely beneficial to in this time if you trying to explore that relationship with God a little bit more. Even with what I was saying earlier, as far as like devotions and, you know, even reading, reading the Bible, um, version is a really good app. Um, you can get it on your phone. So it's like always with you. Um, but they have a lot, like, I think hundreds of, and thousands of different devotionals that you can do. Um, and some of them have questions. They all have like things to think about as you're reading through. Um, and then they typically provide a few passages from scripture to read through as well. Um, but I like using that because you can bookmark things, you can highlight all of that um, so that you see it later on and you're reminded of things. Um, but even kind of, I mentioned earlier um, with the quote, so Dr. Caroline Leaf, um, a great author, and I know she has a podcast too. So, you know, if reading maybe isn't your thing, maybe try out her podcast. It's not always, um, well, sometimes there is a little spiritual aspect to some of it, um, but uh, any of her books too would be really good, I think, for the whole topic um, with self-regulation and just focusing on, you know, getting through things, so, yeah. I was thinking um, John Eldridge is one of my favorite authors, and he has a lot of books, and they're typically uh, spiritual topics, Walking with God, might be a good one um, because it's kind of, how do you just walk with God on a day-to-day -day basis? And it's it's written as it kind of goes through seasons of a year. And um, it's not something you have to follow or read a certain amount every day. Um, it's not really even in chapter form, which is kind of cool. So yeah, but that might be a, a good one if you're just kind of exploring what does a relationship with him look like. Um, and I don't know if this is morbid, but, um, with a lot of this pandemic stuff, you know, obviously we're hearing really sad numbers every day and the death toll rises every day. And I think a lot of people are, are kind of wondering about death and heaven. And he actually has a really good book on heaven called All Things New. Um, and again, that's John Eldridge. And he talks about how heaven is all things made new the way that God intended them to be. And it's not like the eternal choir practice, you know, that so many of us were raised with or... Um, it's not just this like blank space of light or something, but it's, it's all the beautiful things and amazing things that we love about this world, um, but made right and made without the brokenness of sin. Um, you know, think of how much we love mountains now, uh, how awesome are going to be, are mountains going to be in heaven? Um, or like, you know, all of us sitting here love horses, um, how awesome is our relationship with horses going to be in heaven? Um, can you imagine Jesus is stable? Like, whoa. <laughs> so, you know, it's just a really interesting book um, to kind of start thinking about those things. And especially if that's something that's been causing any fear, um, it might be a good thing to just dive into. So, Well, guys, I feel like this has been really productive. Um, Obviously, for anybody watching, if you guys have any questions at all, please reach out to us. We are still doing counseling. We're doing telehealth sessions. Uh, we do not use Zoom. We use a HIPAA-compliant version for individual sessions. 
um, and I actually just ordered a uh, group version of Zoom that is HIPAA compliant, so coming soon for things like that. Um, but yeah, if you have questions or need support, now is a good time to get support. Don't feel like you have to be doing the pandemic alone. Um, if you need it, there's no shame in that. So we're all here for you. Um, Gillian and Dana especially are taking new clients. Um, I am not yet until we are a little bit more moved in, but yeah, eventually. So take care, um, God bless, and we have more videos coming, so stay tuned. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.